Hello students, this is Nitin Mohor and today we are going to study one of the most important biomedical electronic device, electroencephalogram, which is abbreviated as EEG. The first question which can come to your mind by listening to this name is what is EEG? So it's an electroencephalogram, a biomedical electronic device and it is used to record the electrical activity of the brain and the record which is being obtained on the graph paper or displayed on the oscilloscope screen is called electroencephalograph. There are different neurons cells in the brain of the human being and which are constantly developed and get destroyed at the very next second and due to their activity that is the neuronal activity human brain generates an AC electrical signals these AC electrical signals are basically the brain waves these signals can be easily detected or analyzed with the help of electroencephalogram that is EEG this detection is done by placing electrodes I mean sensors at different points on head and recording the brain waves Recorded signals on the graph called electroencephalograph and the device or instrument which records it called electroencephalogram. So far the brain waves are concerned they are basically electrical impulses in the brain and they are occurring due, occurring due to the synchronized electrical pulses which is by the group of neurons. These brain waves are detected using sensors that is electrodes on the scalp. Depending upon the frequency ranges and the state of brain in which the waves are existing, the brain waves are classified as under as shown in the table. Here the first wave is delta wave which is having frequency of 0.5 Hz to 4 Hz and it is observed during deepest meditation and dreamless sleep state of brain. The next wave that is theta wave is having the frequency of 4 hertz to 8 hertz and it is observed during the sleep or in children. The next frequency range that is 8 hertz to 13 hertz which is associated with the alpha waves and it is observed during the closing and opening of the eyes that is drowsy stage or resting state of the brain. The next is beta waves having frequency range between 13 Hz to 22 Hz and it is generally observed during the alertness of the brain that is when we are alert, attentive, engaged in problem solving or judgment and decision making. And the last is gamma waves which are occurring at the higher frequencies between 22 Hz to 30 Hz and it is generally observed during the multitasking processes of the brain and that is simultaneous processing of the information from different brain areas. So this is how the different brain waves are differentiated. Moving on to the block diagram of electroencephalogram. Here you can see the leads or electrodes which are connected directly to the lead selector. Thereafter comes the bioamplifier, then comes the power amplifier and then the recorder which is the displaying device. Ohm meter and calibrator they are actually associated with the accuracy of the device or accuracy of the readings which are being observed from the electroencephalogram. So leads or electrodes waves generated from the patient's brain are picked up by placing electrode around the scalp. So these are the leads or electrodes which are in direct contact with the brain by putting them at the different points on the scalp the signals can be picked up or signals can be picked up from the brain of the patient and they are brought to the lead selector circuit now moving on to the next block that is lead selector what it does it enables the technicians or doctors to select different combination or configuration of electrodes and it depends upon the diagnosis required for the particular patient. Amplitude of the signal from the electrode is too small and hence they are applied to the bioamplifier where the strength of the signal which is picked up from the brain of the patient 
is boosted to some level. But that level is not enough to be recorded by the recording device and therefore the next stage comes that is the power amplifier that we are going to see. So bio amplifier amplifies the output of electrodes. Amplified signals are then applied to the power amplifier so as to be make them capable to record. It means the signals which you are getting at the output of the bio amplifier they are not having enough strength that it can be recorded easily by the recorder so they need further amplification which is done by the power amplifier. Recorder is basically a recording device it records the output of an amplifier. Recorder may be inkjet or hot stylus stylus means pen hot stylus type with frequency response up to 90 hertz. Then comes the ohmmeter and calibrator's role. Calibrator and ohmmeter, a calibrating signal is used for controlling and documenting of sensitiveness of the channel. That is, it leads to accuracy. This supplies voltage of adequate amplitude to the input and channel. Though electrode jelly is used due to hair on the scalp, the contact resistance is very high and therefore each pair of electrodes is tested for its resistance on the scalp by using ohmmeter. So far the EEG machines are concerned it may be of 8, 6 or 32 channels and has 10 to 20 electrodes. These are different types of the EEG machines and their features. Applications of electroencephalogram Till now we have discussed the things about EEG that is block diagram and the basics and from that you definitely came to know that this is having the application in the area of brain diagnosis. So it detects damages, tumor locations of the brain. Depth of anesthesia required at the time of surgery can also be made known with the help of EEG. It can also diagnose head injuries. It is used to know the bleeding on brain which is called as the brain hemorrhage. It can diagnose and manage sleep disorders which in medical terminology called as insomnia. It can identify the areas of brain which are not working properly and it can also determine the level of brain functioning in coma. So I hope the idea of EEG its block diagram, features, characteristics and different brain waves associated with the brain with their frequency ranges and the state of brain in which they are observed along with the application of EEG is clear to you. Thank you.